What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Portugal. And in this episode we are bullying a small Spanish fleet with our own. So we're not using our large fleet, we're using our smaller fleet. This is ideal because it's helping us uh, grow the Portuguese Navy by an additional two fifth rates for no real cost except repairing them from the damage we do. Make sure my admirals at the back of the fourth ray line. There may, there may well be reasons why you'd probably want them up front. Maybe I don't know. Maybe morale, maybe morale stuff. But personally, it's almost always just not worth it because the because of the risk of losing your uh, your admiral. Because I mean, where is he? Wandering around somewhere, but well, the trouble, the main thing is the admirals like to wander up the top of the masts. And what can happen when they wander up there? They either get shot off or the mast collapses. But I'm going to cut the recording and bring those back once battle is joined. So I've done a bit of manoeuvring to try and get into position, but it looks like they've actually done a fairly smart thing in attempting to go for my the rear of my formation so for the most part we're going to want to try and bring our ships around and these ships give them an order sail against the wind so it's going to take a while So you're going to maintain a threat from this vector. Put your holes into El Alejandro. Well, they are sailing headlong. I mean, ultimately, yeah, my, my, my heavy hitters are here, but I don't want to use them. I mean, compared to San Sebastian, the second rate, it's just outpacing the heavy first. Anyway, they're not going to go anywhere because they are sailing away from the sailing away from the well, sailing into the wind rather, not away from anything. So you pour some chain shot onto El Gran Alejandro. Team maneuvering, pull some to the rear of the fifth rate. Yeah, we are exposed to a number of threats. There you go, we're causing some upset because you are wavering. Now you're routing. Enemy at sea, enemy general has been killed because he was on the main mast and now he's dead. And now this fifth rate was wavering. Try cut ahead of them. Fire, ch fire round shots. That's all you've, you've got to shoot. One San Felipe. You go sail ahead to cut them off. Bring them juddering to a halt. Fire your cannons. She's gonna hit! Fire off a little broadside at close range. Hey, you have the ghost. I mean, you're already in a bit of a pit of a pickle because you are currently in the crossfire of an awful large number of ships. Gleb, get ready with the chain. Hey, this fifth rate's lost a mainmast.
get along, get, I don't get alongside. San Felipe, try to board. We are going to continue. There we go. Surrender. Two more fifth rates for our fleet. And ultimately, we had to fight it anyway because we didn't want to risk damage to our main battle fleet. Bye bye, Spanish squadron. So, Poland Lithuania is on the move. Russia's being Russia. Sweden's hopefully going to... It looks like they engage the Russians in battle. Sweden's going to Swede. Louisiana's going back to their home port after destroying the pirates for us, which was very, very nice of them. Here on or on the march, we need to advance to them and kill them. But... Firstly, well, say firstly, we have many, many things we need to do, so. Third rate. So you guys get to port. Prepare yourselves. You guys can repair a little bit of superficial damage. All sorts of things going on. Okay, we've got to prepare to sort of be ready for this front line. But... So over here in the Americas, we've got business. So we've got the pirates here in Nassau. We've also got Spain landing here at San Jose de Orona. But that's not a problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Nassau. Then, depending on the state of the garrison or the, the people at Nassau, we are going to immediately embark this fleet, bring them back to Trinidad, and re-engage the Spanish and also be ready to ultimately attack Cuba and, San, and Santo Domingo. Because those are more, more goods for the trade empire. So, no style, no finesse. Guns behind the line. Infantry center. Infantry center, put the... Militia on the right. Bowmen just sit behind the lines. Frontiersmen on the left. Skirmish cavalry also on the left. Colonial light on the right. General in the centre. Ah. Why you do this? So we don't need to worry about running at them. We want them to really come out of the city and come towards us. Which it looks like they may do, largely. So let's see, all my artillery is pounding the second light foot pirate mob units. Units you can't recruit if you pay players the pirates, you can't get militia pirate units which, is, which was unfortunate yeah they're coming at us so i'm gonna speed up time a little bit because it's just going to be artillery pounding pirate mob and these fellas coming out of the city right where we want them to be it's got citizen colonial militia third light foot that's what our militia's for as well okay my line infantry run Make ready, begin engaging those pirate swine with musket fire. It's a volley slamming home. Another one. Yep, it's another. The colonial militia to the rear has hit by some misses. Human advance, human advance, human advance towards this pirate mob. Howitzers engage your targets, everyone else attack the general. 
strictly speaking, don't really need to do this, but I'm gonna. Keep the frontiersmen safe. I think my skirmish is up on the hill, fire it all off. Ultimately, the enemy is scattering, and we know they are likely not going to uh, stick around for a huge amount of time. Not in this deadly crossfire. Ooh. They might want to go for my frontiersmen. Engage them. Ah, oh, they're fleeing. Too slow. We may get some. No, yeah, you're out of you're out of range. Charge these pirates in to attack the third light foot. Begin the squeeze. Not that there's much to squeeze. Come on, don't run away from them. See, what, look, why are they... They were just slowly trotting off away from the pirate mob, but now you want to hit them. The 17th Regiment of Militia coming in. Men experienced in colonial fighting. Just the General's bodyguard coming back. Get into, get into position, militia. Too late. Not militia. Mounted tribal auxiliary. See, this is what I... Okay, good. <laughs> I was going to say, I, this is what I don't like happening with pirates, is that they suddenly units at the edges of the map go, Oh no, actually, we want to fight. It's like, oh no, you don't. Go away. But we lost 13 men. That's pretty good. So let's upgrade Grand Bahama and let's recruit a sloop to occupy it. Let's upgrade the sugar plantation and upgrade the infrastructure, but I am going to have to nick. It's going to be a gamble. Nick a sloop. Can my army... Yes, they can leave Nassau. Then they can sail to Puerto de España, get into the capital, and then attack these Spanish dogs. Yes. Oscar Alvarez. Your landing on our shores will cause the death of your measly empire. We can take the entire Caribbean and then we can land in the southern US fairly safely because we are we have good relations with Louisiana. Britain is dead. This is the catalyst for our uh, North American invasion. So, infantry up front, guns behind, yeah, I didn't lose many men at all. So native troops behind the line, group my cavalry together in one large clump because we need to go searching. Because the enemy will not. Ooh, we'll mount a tribal auxiliary. I can get you guys to approach to target the auxiliary first. If it's not too late. All we can really do is push up until we find those enemy bow units. They're here somewhere. That's right. Stop to get your volley off. I suppose the howitzers could already both bombard the Hessian foot units.
bayonet charge. See if you can route them. There they go. So now my foot artillery engage the enemy general's bodyguard. Let's take a mount tribe auxiliary push forward. The rest of the cavalry start to spread out. There they are. There is the enemy. Surround them with muskets. The Mount Troy auxiliary ban out ahead, fire it will on. Skirmish cavalry. My actual melee cavalry peel off to the left. There we go. Charge. Damn right we're gonna continue. Look at this slaughter. So much death. So much glorious death. Kill them all. Got him. So you guys but they've got away. These guys are going to get away. But damn right, that was decisive. Native units can be scary, but when there's not very many of them in the center of the field of battle, they're pretty good. So you men... Actually, okay, let's take one of these sloops back to Jamaica. So Santa Domingo is currently unguarded. So you chaps... Get on board. So you're gonna or you're gonna construct a sloop to protect you. You're gonna sail out to Santo Domingo and take it, because there's no one in the ports. You can just run straight up and say, go away. Demand the surrender. You have to get a someone over there to protect or to boot out the Spanish from that port. Here. That's okay, it's only a shipyard. We're not super interested in shipyards yet. Let's get our production going. Although we do need to upgrade the ports. Don't worry about the road just yet. Okay, you can upgrade your sugar warehouse. So. We can land in Florida. We're, we're, we've got good relations with Louisiana, but we can push up and take Savannah, Charleston. We can, we can just start the war, because we could. We were also... Actually, you could just land for Nashwack as well now. The temptation was to land at Quebec. Go for Fort Nashwack. It's a rebel-held territory. In terms of your production, let's get another borough exchange, let's get the better roads and get a better government building. So then up here is where the challenge is, because we do need to keep the pressure on the... We do need to keep the... Uh, not exporting these furs. Let's upgrade the Joint Commercial Basin, upgrade the church school. But we want to take Mr. Figueredo and attack... The Huron while we can see them. So this we do need to be a bit more cautious about because uh, melee, melee native troops can be dangerous especially on mass. So, 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 so. I'm gonna set up, I'm gonna advance the guns Some very elite troops here, though. So 
to then you guys. Two infantry. Two militia. Two infantry. Keep the frontiersmen together because I'm too stupid to uh, manage them properly. Keep my mounted tribal auxiliary together because again it's just easy to manage. And my colonial light on another flank. General in the centre. Just a second sneezing coming. There we go. Right. Not an ideal position. But the intention is to advance up slowly and cautiously wherever the enemy strength is and to be honest what, what you generally do is you set up your defensive position then you go hunting for the enemy forces it's typically how you do it well at least that's how I do it anyway So they might just be somewhere here. Because the reinforcements, the bulk of their army is the army we're currently fighting. They're not coming in as reinforcements. There they are. Okay, infantry line. Reassess your formation. You guys on limber. Frontiersmen, push up. Same with the skirmishers. Guns and limber. Ideally, I would take the high ground. But at least here I'll get some flanking fire. My militia can attempt to secure the high ground, and they've got a large amount of cavalry in support. There we go. The guns have started firing. Now they begin their advance. So now we switch to canister shot. It's not across the board. Probe forward. See if there are any more. Or well, where they are, because there are more than this. Put my grenadiers out on the flank. There we go. So now they're going to start pushing in. Frontal charge. But it's not going to work. Because we have... Superior forces. And some more chaps to the rear. Garrison. Okay, right. Now they're starting to push my flank. So bring my cavalry back. 12 pounders, blast them with canister shot. Grenadiers hold the line right here. The cavalry here charge down into this unit of Native American warriors. That will free up these militiamen to take positions on the high ground. Back you go. So there's a. Okay, right. Commit the cavalry. There's the another bulk of them. This 
this could get dicey. But this is where we get our... <laughs> this could be pretty cool, actually. Go get him, Militia! Hold the line. Keep my general forward. Slam my cavalry into the flank. Do what you can. Bring this cavalry back as well. Push everyone forward. Are you Bowman? You are Bowman. My general can take care of you. Push forward, my infantry. The militia are forcing them back. The enemy general has been killed. Their resolve has been sorely tested. And they have broken. Kill as many as you can. That's the name of the game now. Bloody hell, that is everyone. Who knew the militia charge was such a power play? You go after the bowmen, you men go after those warriors, and there's not many of them left. And you go after that unit of warriors. Cool. Let's make sure everyone's Make sure everyone's after someone. Come on. Oh, they might get away. Okay, so you go after that unit of native warriors. You guys go after that unit. General's still after his bowmen. Let's see if we can take those out. All my cavalry are currently active. Smash. God, this man has retreated in so many different directions. And the last unit's all the way over here. Or well, part of it's all the way over here. There's two guys here, but there's four on the of the unit left, so uh This is problematic. There they are! They're over here again! Nah! Two of your friends ran to save your lives. But damn right that was decisive. Holy moly! 272 loss for 2,534 kills. Understandably, my cavalry have just done a real number on them. Some of them going up. They've all oh, nearly one unit of light auxiliary and one unit of tribal auxiliary have gone up in experience. My general's bodyguard's gone up in experience. Now we cross into enemy territory, ready to attack their capital next turn. Okay, so let's upgrade farm. Let's upgrade the fur trapper post here. And get good roads at York Factory. Start making some money here. Port blockaded. New port emerges. In Sardinia. Trade port it is. Plus a winery. Plus a sloop. Protect said port. Let's upgrade this steam pump iron mine for a good investment. Excellent. More of our trade fleets are gathering. Yeah, so Brussels is fortified. Should they want to attack us, then they will find us a much more difficult opponent. Pirates have been destroyed. 
Uh, cool. Yes, we're going to sail. Next turn, we're going to sail one of these units over here to boot the pirates out of our duckyard. Then we will go ahead and actually... Fifth rate privateer. Okay, right. So, Sebastio, you may not put them under blockade. Then we will seek to capture these ships so we can put them into a trade fleet. Oh, and we've also got Punda to take as well. Well, let's raid Otto Branda. Then come back out. We just want to damage it to interrupt their trade. Actually, that means we can take you over here. You can stop recruiting your sloop. Let's upgrade a farmland here in Santo Domingo. Five turns into Leo Yagane. Another port. Good. In terms of tech, next turn we're going to get free trade doctrine, which is pretty good. Plus 25% wealth generated by ports, plus 10 per turn to town wealth, plus 30% bonus to the growth in trade route income. And we have some quite significant trade relationships across the board. Increase production! More! More, more, more! That's what I want. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So, okay. I think things are going rather well. So once we take out the Huron, we can drive south in towards French Canada and turn it into Portuguese Canada. You can run around if you like, but I can get to your capital faster than you can get to mine. So you got free trade doctrine, Evora, go straight on to classical economics, because I just love this particular strand of economic research. Keep on going. Ooh, okay, so. So I think we have to sacrifice one of the fifth rates. Excellent. You can blockade trade here to help pay for yourself. I suppose what you're going to end up doing is Start growing a bit of another trade fleet, because we do have... So, coast of Brazil, we have no presence. Ivory Coast, we have some presence. Morocco and the Italian states. We have no presence in the Straits of Madagascar anymore, and we know the 13 colonies are actively there. So we do want to... make them aware of the fact that we have not given up our claims. Same in the East Indies. To be honest, that might be where you seek to go. Maybe first rate adamant, that would have been a good capture. Well, what's the best good? Spices still. Well, in terms of stuff we can import anyway, like the trade node stuff. Go over to the East Indies Trade Theatre. Okay. Upgrades you to a governor's residence, so everything's still upgrading. But yes, you can't get to Moose Factory, but I can get to your capital. So now you've deprived them of your support. So I'll seize them for now. We will fight this, but I just want to get some other things done. I mean, like these rebels are going to be an auto resolve. Secure, secure, reinforce. Upgrade the mines, upgrade the farm, get rid of the local fishery. Because then we are going to want to drive onto 
Falmouth pretty rapidly, which we can do. It's a former French colony. They are good Catholics. And they really like us. And our government structure is really good. So Bathurst is nearly good done. It will be useful. Uh, 23 grand. Okay, go over to the Americas. Let's upgrade our port infrastructure. As much as we can, anyway. Except for our military ports, not worried about them. Ironmaster's Works is a good get. So... You're probably not, no, you're not going to need another sloop. You're going to collect native warrior auxiliary. Deposit them ashore. Upgrade your ports, because I'm surprised there must be some... No, we're not, we're not currently maxed out on production yet. And you guys go to San Juan. Great gain mentioned in dispatches, yeah. So ideally, we'll take Moose Factory, march on down to Montreal, and this force can potentially take Falmouth, fight around Falmouth while we take Montreal, then Quebec. Then we need to kind of solidify this front line a bit. Okay. Farm, upgrade the weaver. No, nope, don't upgrade the weaver's cottage because we've got a town to take. Let's attack the Huron homeland. Push forward, destroy them, just burn down their houses, burn down their villages. And then we will be. Well, we'll be in a pretty good position actually. We'll have quite a significant uh, production of furs. The artillery may. No, it worked quite well pushing them up with us. Yeah, my militia took a bit of a, a bit of damage. That's okay. Okay, actually getting my grenadiers involved here for once. I like keeping my frontiersmen together because it does make them just a lot easier to manage. We have to do the same probing activity that we did before. They may, but, but they may well just be right at the back anyway. Push up and secure the road. Run my infantry because it looks like the enemy cavalry may want to get up to mischief. Yep, we're going to get into a good old skirmish. Make ready and fire. Here's you guys would rather charge. Although you are chief's bodyguard, that is your prerogative. Excellent fire from my square. The chief is going to be pushed back, but he will likely not be routed. I think once we get our guns involved, the enemy will 
be in a bit more of a pickle because they'll be aware they can't just sit back. Okay, maybe you shouldn't look at them too closely. Okay, Chief's bodyguard's back in action. They appear to want the same result. Cannons have fired across. Yep. So these guns start engaging. I'm going to use that garrison native unit to the rear because I have a feeling there might be a bunch of people stacked up on them. Because of how... Okay. Okay, you guys are reloading as quickly as you can because we've got armed tribesmen coming in. These people are trying to kill us. So you better get ready to fire. Yeah, they've routed. Artillery fire inbound. Here we go. Look at that. Oh no, it's just the cavalry. Disregard. At least these fellows have been shattered. Curious. Very curious. They do like to hide in a giant clump. It can make it very awkward to pursue. But to pursue we must. We are Europeans. We are not afraid of savages in leather huts. We will advance into the danger. Recklessly? recklessly? Oh, is there any other way? We will push up through the village, but it is a bit of a bit of a dead end because there's no way up. You guys get to this position and running. Hello. No withdrawal. Bowmen, medicine men. No, I said withdraw. Withdraw, damn it. Okay, you men keep pushing up the hill. Withdraw, I said. Especially you, General's Bodyguard. And you're, oh, you guys are meant to be... Yeah, they've mullered one of my infantry units. Withdraw! Back to the line. One of my cavalry units has did not disengage. You're going to run that way. Come on, break them. Quickly, so that we can withdraw. My gunners can then switch to canister shot. Switch to canister. You guys are gonna have to pull back. You guys are gonna pull back. Okay, you guys are also going to pull back. Okay, 
Okay. This coverage cannot get away. Hit the native bowmen to make sure they are gone for good. Yeah, see, they are <laughs> native troops, man. Get ready. Get ready to push them back. That's what it comes down to. Ah, my gunners are chasing them down. <laughs> Reform our line. There we go. Grenadiers hit the flank of that unit. Warriors pushing in. Gunners engage the bowmen. Engage the warriors with my pikes. Withdraw. As soon as they break, we're done. Use our firepower, not our combat skills. You guys can hit the bowman easy enough. It's the infantry that I'm scared of. Even go for Chief's bodyguard, my general's bodyguard go for the yeah, there we go. As soon as we expose them to our firepower, they're not interested. Okay, they're shattered, that's good. Even keep attacking a general's bodyguard. Okay, form line. And on this flank. Shattered. Okay, right. You guys get back up to the top. Kill the enemy general. Or the enemy chief. Go on, you men. Love, reload. It's like you've never, like your lives depend on it because they do. down that unit of bows. It's only this unit of native bows that, that opposes us. Gunners cease fire. See, if you're a bowman, you're there going, uh oh, this doesn't look good. The guys are running. And I see a lot of smoke coming up from in new positions. Oh, at least it can't get any worse. Wait a minute. What's that noise? Ah! The Portuguese! Bash. <laughs> Beautiful. Because some of your kinsmen that have been recruited by these dastardly Portuguese. They drive home the hatchet into your back. Hurrah. So we lost a few more men than planned. But we can manage that. So let's get rid of... I oh know, the Fur Trapper Trader is okay. You've got basic roads. We've got a mine we can upgrade. 
Got some towns that can show up. But that'll take a bit of time. Cool. Okay, that's that's gone pretty good. Need to take out Agvitok at some point. Well, we need to take out a lot of things. Uh, okay, let's hit enter. So, I'm quite glad of how things have gone in Europe, because we've got a fairly good... Uh, no. We've got a fairly good... Uh, fairly stable and profitable position in Europe now. You haven't got to worry about war. A major war in Europe could still break out. Um, but in this case, at least we are on the right side of it. At least for now. This is why I want to expand my production base in the Americas quickly. Punch card loom has been researched, going on to power loom. Good stuff. The town emerges in Guatemala. Have a, have a craft workshop. Oh. Those will be that will really suck up our cash trying to upgrade the ports to uh, massive massive trade hubs. Okay, so we can upgrade the fur market, we can upgrade the gold mine, we can rebuild the Huron territory into a proper good Catholic people's homeland. You men are marching towards Falmouth. I mean, just... I mean, that's just an auto resolve, I'm afraid. Capture. Upgrade the mine. Upgrade the government building. Roads are still going. Upgrade Louisbourg to a trade port. Good. Boston. We eye Boston to the south. If we take Boston, that gives us some good recruitment capabilities. Let's do a bit of replenishment before we attack their capital. Great. Coffee warehouse. Okay, originally I was going to fight this battle, but I think it's just easier to just go chomp. We don't really need to build... We don't really need to do so much capturing of enemy ships. Let's replenish. Let's build an admiral. Vigilio... Las Marinas. And this sloop can come over here and pick up. Ah. Okay. Go to here as a group. Deposit your army. Although, to be honest, you could probably actually be redeployed. Go for Cuba. Very poorly defended. Yeah, Spain, this was a big mistake. So the brig, Sao Paulo. Just the brig, please. Go to Porto Pay. Fleet. Go to San Juan. And complete those repairs. Coffee warehouses, vineyards. Get some port upgrades. Get a sloop. Marseille. I mean, ultimately, we just want to keep... Keep pouring money into your economy and bad thing and good things will happen not bad things good things will happen um, hmm. okay not so worried about procurement Mexico is okay, largely. Nassau got a government, governor's encampment. 
but yeah, cube will be useful because that's another good selection of trading materials, trading resources. And we are. When we upgrade the port, we'll get more more pelts to market. York Factory, you may actually just be exempted from tax entirely. Actually, no, it doesn't help at all. Churchill to grow. Well, you still may be exempted from tax to help promote growth. Uh, let's hit enter. Britain's redeploying some ships into the Mediterranean. That's okay. Oh, so I suppose the, Sp the Swedish and the Dutch are enemies now. They were previously allies, were they not? I suppose not. If I can take Boston, I can recruit another army to help expand my control over North America. Then that theatre will largely solve itself. It's only a matter of time for Sweden elects to attempt to destroy us. Just a second. Apologies for that. It was the postman. And uh, now, fleet arrives. Let's have a look. Louisiana, who are you? Genoa, who are you? Venice, that's Sweden. And this one is... The Mughals. Go to straight to Madagascar, because then at least we can take these guys to meet them, because we know Britain, well not, eh, not not Britain, someone, somebody one of our enemies is here 13 colonies, yes so then you're ready to take the position good Okay, 50 grand. Yeah, that's quite significant. Let's upgrade two ports in Europe. Hop over to the Americas. I mean, it's annoying, but you're going to have to be an auto-resolve as well, because what's the point of... So I've officially won the campaign, but we all know we will be continuing. We're going to destroy the military, military governor's barracks. Upgrade the clearances. Upgrade. I mean, these are both tobacco. That's okay, I suppose. We're going to build two sloops. One ready to transport. Produce more sugar. Upgrade your governor's building to get more tax. Produce more tobacco. Produce more sugar. Great government building. Because you're still not replenished yet, not fully. Well, not gonna, you're not going to get fully replenished soon, but you will get replenished. And then when this construction is done, we can see if we can move our army out of there and move them east towards Montreal. Britain looks like they're trying to establish more of a... Ooh, hello, where are you going? Don't you do it, Britain. Don't you do it. So Prussia is on the march. Not that we're worried about that. Sweden's Russia. Sweden. Yeah, I think they, they, well, they will take out the Dutch, inevitably. The Dutch are on the back foot, so unless I intervene to protect them, they will not be protected. Hmm. 
reorganized procurement. That's a good one to get. You've hopped straight on to diamond formation. And by the looks of it, we do want to then keep upgrading some of our military production buildings. So we don't get capped out on what we can research. Salamanca, you may get on with machine tools instead. And I should do the same for Lisbon as well, really. Upgrade your port to a big, swanky new port. Same with Spain. Okay. Right. So I think that's another little... Okay, we can upgrade your government chambers. So I know you won't be entirely happy, but will you be kind of happy? Minus technically, yes. So you can push on to Montreal. You're still exporting a good amount of pelts. Produce more sugar, produce more ports. Let's get a sloop. You guys can upgrade your magistrate. Your replenishment's done. To be honest, you can probably leave. So you can walk down to Santiago de Cuba, where we will then take Punda, and that will be Spanish, just removed from from the oh I need to upgrade the spice warehouse but upgrade the, that will be the Spanish removed from the Caribbean then we, go, then we set our eyes on to St Augustine you're one more turn off for replenishing so let's leave you let's hit enter we're bashing enter a lot but it's because we've, we've currently got a lot of things we can spend money on a lot of things we can invest in and we are managing... Ooh, Spain is at... Britain's at war with Genoa. That's interesting. Starting to carve themselves out a little North African empire. Uh, but in terms of what we're doing... Yeah, we've got a lot of... We've got, we've got a manageable set of wars. We aren't fighting on all fronts. So we can afford to invest heavily in our economy to make ourselves more robust for future wars. So, I mean, Genoa's got its work cut out for it because you've got Britain to fight now. If they take Morocco, this may draw us into war with Britain. So I don't want to get into, don't want to get involved into any confrontations uh, in northern Italy. A rake in Sardinia—that's like a really frustrating place to get a rake. Just drop him off the nearest point. And you go to Vienna to get some eyes on Austria. Alliance broken, Prussia and Austria. Oh no, here we go. Workers on strike, but they're both now amber, so they'll be okay. It'll get better once they rebuilt once they build the governor's residence. Fur exchange. Fur just still aren't growing. Bit of a bummer. So we know that's 13 colonies, we know that's Denmark. Who are you? Courland, A. Spain with a fifth rate. Great Britain with a brig and some sloops. So you're a fifth rate. So now we're going to start breaking up our squadrons. We're going to start going, okay, who do we want to fight who? I mean, you need the most. Well, I think this is probably okay, this sort of division. Because you're enough 
to take that Spanish fifth rate. We all want to take the fifth rate, clear the area for this trade fleet to take the position. Then you guys can push on and attack the 13 colonies fleet and secure that area as well. But I think that's how we're going to leave the episode, not kick it off. Because you're doing okay here. Hello. Oh, it's just a... It's just a preacher. Hello, Iroquois Confederacy. You look unhappy. This force can put Boston under siege. It will be fought, but I want to kick off the next part with the actions in uh, our trade theatres first. So you, good sir, will attack the call and fleet. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for a bit of good old-fashioned naval action. Cheers everyone. <laughs> <laughs>